If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Miz T Show. All aboard! Here we go, let's start the show, hosted by Ms. T. Nintendo video games are the favorite ones for me. News and review some gameplay too, battling drones is what I do. M-I-Z, Z-A-H, is the show by Ms. T. It's the show by Ms. T. It's tea time, fools. Hey, fools. Ms. T here, and I'm back with another tea time commentary. I'm titling this episode, The Haters and Just Do You. Well, fools, we've entered a new year. For many of us in the world, we see it as an opportunity to start anew and to start fresh. And that's a beautiful thing. Many of us make many resolutions every year. Some we are able to keep, but most we do not. But in light of this new year, Mr. T asks you fools to add just one more resolution to your list. And it's the title of this tea time. I ask you to promise me that you will just mother the haters and just do you. Being a part of this YouTube gaming community, even for such a short time that I have, I've come to realize that many fools who call themselves gamers are very uncomfortable with the stigmas of being gamers. You know the stigmas I'm talking about. The ones that say, if you're a gamer, you're some fat, socially awkward, virgin nerd who refuses to grow up and stop playing with kids' toys. You're just one violent video game away from shooting up a school. It's strange to think those ridiculous stigmas exist even though we now have a generation of 20-something year olds who have grown up with video games as a well-known pastime. But many of those same fools are the ones who are somewhat embarrassed by their hobbies and are afraid that anyone would ever think that they are nerdy, socially awkward virgins because they like video games and they resort to actions to prove that they are not. They join others in cackling and pointing fingers at other gamers to make fun of them to prove to others that they are the cool gamers and not like those other video game nerds. They want you to know that they are big boys and always have lots of sex with many women by showing you pictures of big black female asses to prove their heterosexuality by calling you fags and pedophiles and cussing in like every other sentence. Because everyone knows talking that way and acting that way is proof of your maturity. <laughs> Fools, they try so hard to prove to the internet that they are not nerds even though they spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars building their own PCs and making videos about game stability and tessellations and shaders and drivers, you name it. Can you do anything more f***ing nerdy than building your own PC? Come on, fools. And that's fine. It would be all good if they would just accept their nerd and be cool with it. The way I have and the way many of you fools who will agree with the points in this video have. But they can't. They are consumed by their insecurity and their fears of being associated with the stigmas that come with being a gamer. They point fingers and say, yeah, I play games, but I'm not like those faggots over there. I like to play games, but it's not that serious with me. But I'm a hardcore gamer. What the f***? I spent over a thousand dollars on game systems and games this holiday season to prove to my fan base I'm a real hardcore gamer, but it's those Nintendo fags who should be made fun of. These fools truly and deeply believe what video game device they play video games on proves that they are not virgins. <laughs> it proves that they make the loving with many girls. <laughs> it proves that they are manly men. What the f***? And they call us the weirdos. And still, all that kind of erratic behavior would be fine if these fools didn't have an army of cheerleaders agreeing with and regurgitating their favorite commentators' insecure, narcissistic bullshit. But unfortunately, they do. And most of the time, these faithful followers are young, impressionable teenage boys seeking acceptance and wanting to be part of a social group, albeit an internet-based social group. What the f***? 
So they run around using the same overused, uncreative, and sometimes harsh terminology of their favorite YouTube mouthpiece. So unfortunately, what we end up with is the junior high or high school childish social class system, except the internet version where cowards can talk tough safely behind their keyboards, not having to worry about getting their asses kicked. People say the most vile things on the internet about other people that they would be afraid to say to someone's face. I was on Nintendo's YouTube channel watching one of their newer family-based ads and then I scrolled down to the comment section where a fool's proclaimed, and I'm paraphrasing here, no, no, Nintendo, please stop with these kinds of ads. I'm tired of being made fun of for years as a Nintendo gamer because of the family and kids image, stuff like this. Please do commercials that are more hardcore and badass or something like that. And of course, Mr. T had to respond. I don't remember the entirety of my post, but it was basically to tell this kid, or at least I hope he was a kid, that you shouldn't allow anyone to steal your joy or ruin your fun based on their insecurities. Don't let their insecurity become yours. The gaming community should be about having fun, fools. It shouldn't be a proving ground for showing your hardcore gamer card or to prove your sexuality and sexual prowess. What the f***? We are all nerds to some degree. We all spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a year to play video games. So we can pretend to be superheroes or mythological warriors, soldiers, race car drivers, gangsters, ninjas, wizards, athletes, and even birds on a slingshot. Grow up and accept that sh please. Accept that sh fools for the good of gaming and the good of the industry. Because you, adult and age only, dangerously homophobic and extremely insecure males are helping to destroy the once great industry. Developers and publishers are scrambling to cater to you morons, creating the same old bland brooding lead male protagonist with guns anti-hero bullshit. And companies have stopped making more varied and fun games that aren't some wannabe Hollywood cinematic experience overdone shooter trash. I think about the variety that used to come out of companies like Capcom, Konami, and even Sega. And the shit just makes me wanna cry. I used to think that the one good thing about Rare going to Microsoft was that there was gonna be a company that could actually challenge and push Nintendo on the types of games that Nintendo is good at making, forcing Nintendo to the limits of their creativity. But the best thing that Rare has done since joining Microsoft was designing those damn avatars. That's a goddamn shame. These self-righteous, insecure dude bro assholes are f***ing up gaming. But if all you game nerds would just accept who you are and show up and make your presence felt instead of running and hiding every time some loudmouth, inarticulate Neanderthal yells kitty games and made for kids nanny nanny boo boo, then we'd be okay. Make this one of your New Year's resolutions. Stand up and be heard and be proud of who you are. You are a game nerd. Accept that sh don't be afraid to let your gaming culture, your gamer identity, creep into your real life, your real world. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Hell, on some of Mr. T's professional shoots, I've been known to bring along my 3DS and rock my fitted Mario cap. Guess what happens? My clients and I get to talking about video games. No name calling or disrespect. Honestly, people will respect you more when you have the balls to be yourself in front of them. Your age should not be a ceiling or barrier for what you like. Here are some things I used to like as a kid that I still like today. And these things are relatively the same today in tone as they were back then. And ain't nobody crying why haven't these things grown up with me? The same way they cry that Nintendo hasn't grown up with them. F***ing hypocrites. When I was a kid, I used to like Superman, Batman, Star Wars, Disney musicals, The Wizard of Oz, Never Ending Story, The Dark Crystal, Labyrinth, Ninja Turtles, He-Man, Transformers, Pro Wrestling, and many other things, including Nintendo. And as an adult, I still like those things. And I ain't shamed, fools. As a matter of fact, I now get to groom my two beautiful children on these experiences. And most of those things that I mentioned have been updated to modern times, but they have mostly remained the same in tone. And that's why I still like those things, because they are bold enough to keep their core philosophy and values. To me, that's noble. To me, that's commendable. It's hard to be who you are when many fools around you are falling all over each other to be just like each other. Don't be afraid to be yourself. In the end, you'll be a happier person. 
Mr. T wasted a few years trying to be what other fools wanted Mr. T to be. Trying to make other people happy. But that's an unattainable goal. It wasn't until I started living for myself that I found true happiness. I met and married my soulmate Mrs. T and we have two beautiful children. Some of these fools on YouTube take themselves way too seriously. They accumulate a few subs and a few thousand yes men who kiss their ass and smell their farts and say mmm delicious. What the f***? Then these fools want to start pointing fingers at others and start judging other people and they turn into the YouTube content police and want to tell you how your channel should be. It's like these fools think they credible journalists just cause they put the word media in their names. <laughs> No journalism degree or website necessary. No writing credentials necessary. I'm blah blah media. Made it my top of the world. <laughs> Please stop with that bullshit. You just a fools with a webcam, a big mouth, a lack in vocabulary, and hive brain that attracts other hive brains with their drone opinions. Being different is hard. Following the beat of your own drum is hard. That's why we don't have thousands of Michael Jacksons or Michael Jordans or David Lynch's or George Lucas's or Steve Jobs's or John Lennon's or Bill Gates's because saying no to the crowd and doing sh your own way takes courage. And so as this new year begins, Mr. T asks you to have the courage to do what the f you like to do. If you like wearing Mario t-shirts and fitted caps, rock that sh fools. Tilt that brim so motherfuckers driving in the lane to your left know you down with Mario. If you like Mario blankets and bed sheets, let them sh flow. Most women, at least women worth having, appreciate a dude with a softer side who doesn't act like an over testosterone dim witted jackass who trying to overcompensate for having a small brain and an even smaller penis. <laughs> fools. And if you're a grown man using a Mr. T doll to effectively mind rape these fools, continue doing that sh fools. Understand that the empty, baseless attempts to insult you are quite laughable. <laughs> Realize that you don't have to prove to these keyboard warriors or YouTube commentator drones that you're not who they want you to be. They want to feel better about themselves so they try to bring you down, steal your joy, and steal your fun. Don't let them do that fools. Ignore these teenage boys who just want to prove that they are grown ups. So they'll cling to the nut hairs of their favorite YouTube commentator for their approval. Don't let these 20 something, 30 something year old grown men who come on the internet to act like junior high or high school mean girls steal your joy. And realize the things that they are attacking you for is a thing that makes you different from the crowd, that makes you unique, and that's a good thing. I mean, who wants to be just another drone bee swarming a hive? Make that one of your resolutions, will you fools? Don't succumb to peer pressure or the pressure of trying to fit into some narrow, monotonous societal group. F the haters, buck the trends, and forge your own group, forge your own path starting this year. Do what makes you happy and not what other people want. Be an individual and not a drone. Be yourself, fools.